Hello, I'm delighted to share our research with you on M Farm trainers' perception of their training needs. This research was conducted by Owen Finn and myself, Ruth McCarthy of the School of Pharmacy, University College Cork in Ireland, with the support of Anne Boyter and Sabrina Jacob of Strathclyde Institute of Pharmacy and Biomedical Sciences, University of Strathclyde in Glasgow. Trainers are key to experiential learning for pharmacy students. The new integrated five-year MFAR program in Ireland has resulted in an increased need for skilled trainers. Trains require preparation for the role. Training must be relevant to the needs and preferences of the trainers. The purpose of this study was to examine the trainers' perception of their abilities as trainers, their training needs, and the resources, supports, and recognition they need to fulfill their role. This information can be used to tailor training programs to attend to their preferences and enhance the overall standard of experiential learning placements. A quantitative approach was adopted. A survey was distributed by email to 571 pharmacy trainers with a 12.4% response rate. SPSS was used to analyze data and calculate mean responses and percentage agreement to survey questions. Our key findings were that trainers were confident in their ability relating to the role as a teacher, fostering critical thinking, setting student expectations and assessing professionalism. They had lower confidence in conflict management, misconduct and understanding and overcoming lack of student motivation. Fostering skills related to critical thinking were deemed the most important topic to cover in future training, while guiding students in their learning activities were deemed the lowest of least importance. Self-study web courses are the preferred delivery method, followed by face-to-face -face training. Annual training was preferred frequency for training. Trainers cited time constraints limiting their engagement with the training. And the question of trainers in non-traditional settings, such as industry or research, having different needs was raised. So in conclusion, trainers are confident in their teaching abilities, but less confident in dealing with conflict, misconduct, or lack of motivation. Trainers believe critical thinking skills, feedback, and integrating students into daily activities are key topics to cover in future training. Trainers express a preference for a mixture of self-directed and in-person training conducted annually. And further research is needed to examine the possibility that trainers in different settings may have different training needs.